Hey guys, so the miracle I'm going to speak about today has to do with our most blessed Holy Mother, Banahia. And just recently, uh, we had the 15th of August, the feast day, the Domitian of our Holy Mother. Before I start with this miracle, guys, if you haven't seen, just below, I spoke about um, church number five that we finished in Kenya. Once again, thank you all. And if anyone wishes to donate for church number six and church number seven, I'll put the link below in the description. So the miracle, as I said, I'm going to speak about happened in Tinos. For those that know, Panagia Tistino, every single year, you get pilgrims where they do what we call a tama, okay? Where they go from the bottom of the port all the way up um, on their knees and hands, all the way up to the stairs, up the stairs into the church, and they venerate the Holy Mother of God. So getting to the miracle, there was a mother that took her little boy called George. Now, George was in a wheelchair and she took him all the way from the bottom, as we say, all the way up, up to the steps of the church. Now, the year this happened was in 1995. And normally, the honorary guard, what we say, um, is done by the Navy in Greece. But this year, it was done by the special forces. What I'm going to read you is from the head of... Of the special forces he says his name was Dimitrios and he says that everything was running precisely according to plan and there were perfect formations now as we know once you have a post in the special forces you can't just leave your post and walk off unless of course it's God's will okay and this is what happened in this story so Dimitrios the head of the special forces from the corner of his eye, he saw the mother with the little George in the wheelchair. They went up to the stairs and you can and he says that he saw the mother's body language saying to her son, I'm sorry, son, but I cannot take you up the stairs. And the reason for that was obviously the boy was in a wheelchair and he could not walk. But for anyone that does know, there are thousands of people that go at the church where the service takes place that evening. But as I said, it was God's will. And Dimitrios has left his post. The head of the special forces has left his post as other members from the special forces were wondering where he was going. But he was so decisive to walk up to George that was in the wheelchair. And now Dimitrios this is what he's done. He took little George up to the holy icon of Panagia, which the way this icon was found is another miracle in itself. And I will speak about it in the future. He then takes him under the holy icon of Panagia. For those that have seen even at Easter, how we go under the holy tomb of Christ. And then as he has him in his arms, he takes him back down and puts him back in his wheelchair. Now, Dimitrios suddenly heard the little boy, George, say to his mother, Mother, I want to walk. And he heard the mother respond to the son, Of course, I, I know you want to walk. You've been wanting to walk all this time. But the son replied, No, mother, I actually can walk. So when Dimitrios heard little George say this, he's basically walked up to him and what he says is he helped him get up from the wheelchair and take his first steps. He goes on to say that everyone around was astonished. And basically, he was in ecstasy that the miracle was evident. And every single person could not believe what had just taken place. So what Dimitrios did at that moment, he took off his green beret from the special forces and he gave it to little George and he saluted him in a military way. Now, this is where it gets amazing. The story, um, I would say, I, I love the miracle, but this part of it is, is absolutely fascinating. He goes on to say that 
because there were so many people, he actually lost sight of the mother and son through the crowd. This is where it gets really emotional, this story. Ten years after. Now, this happened in 1995. So in 2005, Dimitrios from the Special Forces, he was in Tripoli. And all of a sudden, his phone rang. And this is the conversation that takes place. He heard a young voice saying, Mr. Dimitrios, it's George from Tinos, if you remember me. And Dimitrios answered, How can I not remember you, my son? You have been on my mind all the time. I find myself back in Tinos mentally. And I'm lifting you and taking you to our Holy Mother like I did. George then said to him, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to come to my swearing in. In Greek, it's called orkomosia. He says, I'm getting sworn in. Sorry. I'm getting sworn in to the special forces. Dimitrios goes on to say that he did go to the swearing in of George. And he says that he was crying like he was on that day when the miracle happened, which was precisely the 14th of August on the evening service leading into the 15th of August. He goes on to say that at the Orcomosia, at the swearing in, that George was wearing, um, was wearing, sorry, he was wearing the green beret that Dimitrios had given him from 10 years ago. There was no way that he will ever walk from that wheelchair, not even a small little step, only if it was God's will, it would happen. And it was God's will for this to happen. And the intervention of our most blessed Holy Mother of God, Panagia. What a beautiful miracle um, and a very touching miracle. And what I will do is, as I said, I'll put a link below with other miracles as well from our Holy Mother. And that is why I keep stressing to everyone that all we need is repentance. We need to repent, self-examine ourselves. We need to take Holy Communion, do our Holy Confession, take Holy Communion. We need to pray and do a lot of good deeds, charitable deeds. Okay, that is what's needed in life. So thank you all for watching this beautiful miracle of our Holy Mother, our Panagia, that we love so much which is a citizen of the eighth day. So thank you all for watching. I pray for you all, morning and light, like an unworthy sinner that I am and nothing more. And please, if anyone can find it in their heart to do a beautiful charitable deed, whether it's for yourself, for a loved one, for, for someone's soul that's reposed, please, if you can, I know times are hard, I'll put the charity link below for church number six and seven. And today I spoke with the Archbishop. We've got over 30 churches that are abandoned. So let's help our beautiful brothers and sisters in Kenya so they too can experience the holy sacraments of our beautiful Orthodox faith. God bless you all.